a little cape with an unwanted guest that taunts the homeowner and her dog. All right, we're doing a walkthrough with the owner of the house. She's going to explain. She doesn't want to be on camera, but she's going to explain um, the different things that happen. Okay. Um, I we used to have different furniture in here, bigger furniture. And where you see that little white chest over there, um, on the wall next to it used to be a different dresser. And um, every morning when I make my bed, I would have to go around on that side. And then this one particular morning, um, there was a handprint and what looked to be a knee print embedded in my rug. Where was, where was that? It was right in front of the dresser that was on. Over here? That wall. All right. So. So the dresser used to be along this wall with the back of the dresser to this. Not this particular dresser. Yeah. But one that we have upstairs oh, used to be down here. And it's pretty flush to the floor. And one morning when I went around this side of the bed to um, make the bed. I noticed a handprint and what appeared to be a knee print right in front of the dresser, like something or somebody had crawled out from underneath the dresser. And it, it was like almost impossible for you to make that, that um, imprint in the rug um, any other way. Unless you were coming out from underneath the dresser. And then at night time, um, I hear this spin when I'm in bed. And there's been many times that I've been um, asleep, almost asleep, and there's like a thud on the bed beside me. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think that maybe that was our dog. Because our dog always used to jump up on the bed and he's been gone for 10 years or so now. And anyway, I feel a thud beside me on the bed. Um, and I think that's about it for this room. Oh, and um, the noise here was my great-grandson, Jaden. He was sitting on the couch with me. And um, we were watching the TV and he kind of, we were sitting on the couch on this one here and he was kind of like trying to uh, look around the corner at the front door and he was yelling in baby gibberish at the front door. How old was he then? Uh, he may have been about maybe like uh, a year and a half, something like that. And... And then we had moved, I moved over to the love seat in front of the window and he still was looking over at the front door and yelling in baby language at the front door. Uh, and I think that's the only thing that, oh, and I used to sleep on the couch and um, I would feel a breeze come by me in between the box there in the couch, uh, like a really cool breeze, like no. whiz by me. That sounds like something to me, <laughs> most yeah. definitely. Yeah. And um, I used to hear a thud in that, in, in this room too. I quit sleeping on the couch because I couldn't take it anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever feel like there's a present in here? Like, uh, do you ever feel anything like do you ever, that somebody else is with you? Maybe sitting next to you or... No, not right no. next to me, but I do get a feeling like, like if I'm sitting on the couch, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's some kind of reflection in my glasses because I'm usually sitting on the couch and um, don't mind the pillows on the couch. Just keep the dog off so she doesn't throw it away. Um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. The, I don't know if it's a reflection in my glasses, but it always seems like somebody is in this 
doorway. I'm getting goosebumps telling you this stuff. <laughs> but um I think that I think that's it for here. Downstairs gives me the creeps um in the basement. Okay, we're gonna pause this for a minute. Okay. It's all right, baby. Okay, so we're heading down to the basement where there's been activity as well. Um, we're going to have a description of what's going on in a second once we all get down here. I have a camera set up right there because the owner of the house sees a man standing by this pole right here sometimes Just, and she'll give the the explanation yes when i i come down the stairs and it's at night time and um this light here would be on and that one that one stays on all the time i shut it up because i didn't know if you wanted it or not but for like a one second two second top i see like a figure standing beside that post this metal uh support beam right here and um years ago when our rex our dog rex who isn't isn't with us any any longer he he used to be tied up down here we had to we had to put him down here because he was chewing up all the woodwork and everything upstairs while we were at work so we tied him up down here, and as soon as I get home from work, I'd run down the stairs and I'd go get him, and and I would take him out, and he'd stay upstairs with us. This the the very last time that he ever was tied up down here, um, his lead, and it's impossible for him to have done that on him by himself, but his lead was wrapped tight around the top of that pole. And he was on his hind legs and kind of like hanging on to the pole and he would have hung himself. There's no way that he walked around that pole and wrapped the lead up at the top of that pole. Where where did you have the leash? Was the leash on the, the leash, pole or was no, it connected the leash somewhere else? Was, um further down there was a hook on this beam going across. Yeah. And it was a really long lead so he could go anywhere. We just didn't want him going in that side. Because uh, he would have had to make a heck of a ton of ballerina twirls around that post, is what you're saying, to be able to. Yeah, and he would have had to walk around on his hind legs. What yeah, the whole time. That? Yeah, it's not possible. So, and then the poor dog, poor Rex. After after that, he wouldn't even walk by our cell, uh, the door at the top. Aww. He was scared to walk by it. We always had to coax mm -hmm. him to walk by that door. Well, they say dogs can, uh, yeah, know, feel the spirits yeah. and you know, see it before somebody. And like then us. on the other side of that wall, you have to excuse the mess down here. It's always like this. Someday it will be empty again. Um, on the other side of the wall, I used to have my computer desk. Well, the desk is still there, but the computer is gone. And I had my great grandson um, with me. He was sitting on my lap at the computer, and mm -hmm. we were playing some game on the on the computer and he looked he looked over to my um right yeah right <laughs> and he was looking up um like not at the ceiling but looking up maybe like at those cupboards there and he was smiling and he said hi and he was sitting up sitting on my lap and then all of a sudden, he like like spun around in my lap and he looked over my left shoulder towards this end and he started screaming. So I do not come down here at nighttime by myself anymore. Even in the daytime, I'm a little, yeah. little nervous. Mm -hmm. But um, that was that was a uh, quite a few years. Is there ago. a light over here? Does this? Yeah, that works. Show all the mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's a workroom. <laughs> I just wanted to show the computer where it was. Yeah, <laughs> kind of dark in that corner. And I think that's it for down here. Is those three incidents? Oh yeah, we're walking by the camera. <laughs>
Is. Where's the light switch for that back room? Um, it's on the light. On the light. Okay. You want it on, right? No, we're gonna need it off. Oh. Okay. This light is gonna break. Okay, so this is the room where um the owner of the house said. She sees, see, had seen a knee print and a handprint um, coming from what used to be a bureau that used to be over here. And sometimes when she's laying in bed, she'll hear this spin when nobody's in the room with her. Does that look like a butt print right there? Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. If there's any spirits in here, make a sound. You can speak into our camera and we can hear it when we play it back. If there's any spirits in here, make this chain move on the ceiling fan. We got a portal. <laughs> Putting the camera right to the mirror. Let's see if there's anything. Nothing. Okay. I'm gonna go outside. Oh. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> this is the living room where the owner's grandson was it heard noises was it heard noises? Yeah, heard noises oh and Sora had seen something near over the near the front door And also, when she was laying on the couch over there, she would uh, feel somebody walk past her when she's sleeping. She felt like a quick, a quick breeze. cool breeze. Mm -hmm. Right now, I don't feel any difference in the temperature. She said she hadn't felt anything in the rest of the house other than these two rooms and then the basement. Um, it's the bathroom. And dining room. And the kitchen. All right. Should we do uh, um, the spirit box right now? Yeah, let's do that. The necrophonic or the spirit box? Do you want me to do this this one first? Yeah. You... Now I'll walk around with you and you can just like, you know. Alrighty. I don't think I should, you know. Right now we're going to try the EMF. We're going to do another walkthrough using the EMF and see okay. if we get any activity with the EMF. And if there's somebody here or whatever, it'll be yellow. I'm going to go to orange. And if there's someone, it'll go to red and all that. And just keep climbing up. 
Is there anybody here with us right There's now? There's somebody with you, Missy. That's already on orange. Yeah. If there's somebody here, you can make that K2 meter go to red. If you're here, you can let us know. We're not here to harm you in any way. We're just here to interact with you. So if you have anything to say, or if you're here, move this... Uh, up to red to let us know that you're here with us and go near that bureau is there any spirits with us tonight touch the k2 meter make the light change there was activity in the hallway over there I know. Is there any spirits with us tonight? Would you like to interact with us in any way? You like to taunt the owner of the house by spinning the um, the bedpost. This thing right here. Um, can you spin that right now for us? Are you here with us right now? Give us some sign that you're here with us. I gotta... We have the K2 with us. To see if there's any spirits with us today. Oh, it's going up, so we have something down here. Some oh, activity. Sh <laughs> oh, sugar. <laughs> yeah. If there's anybody here with us, please, please let us know. Move the K2. Um, hold on. Cause I might have missed that because I was looking at the bear eye. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. There's so here. there's definitely activity down here. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Now if you really want to let us know that you're here, try to make it go to the red. Move the K22 all the way to the red to let us know you're here. Let me see. Right here. Yeah. Well, you have to show oh, no, you have to show uh, yeah. Okay. We're very active down very here. Very active, especially it's, this is where she's seen the shadow. Yeah. Okay. The shadow figure. All right. Yeah. This is the post. Um, and there's no electricity near there. No. It's just a post. Oh, it stopped now. But it was here a second ago. Okay. Uh, uh, it's, it keeps going when I turn it this way. How about that back room? Yeah. If you're here, let us know. Move this. We want to interact with you, but we have to let you have to let us know that you're here with us. You can also speak into the camera. You can touch that K2 meter, make it go to red, and you can also speak into my camera. When we play it back, we can hear you. There's nothing in here, really. No, not over here. All right. It was active, like on the pole, for a little bit. Though. Yeah. That's crazy, and then it stopped. All right, we're going to have to do the spirit box down here. Okay. All right. I shut this off. Do it. Oh, you turn. Off. Let's see. Oh, no, see, it's all active over here. It's like when we first. It's not. No, no. Yeah, it's not active now. All righty. We're going to pause this for a minute and go set up our, uh, oh, going up our spirit box. Oh. All right. So if there's any spirits, you can. Talk to us through this box. I'm going to power it on. If there's any spirits in this house, you can communicate with this, with this spirit box. Is there anyone here? Do you have anything to tell us why you're down here? Did anything happen here? Why are you lingering down here? 
Why are you tor tormenting the owner? Are you the one that hung the dog that used to live here? Bark? Is that what that it just did? That sound like it. <laughs> we understand. We understand. Did you try to hurt the dog that used to live here? Yes, I did. Is that what it said? It sounded like it. Why did you try to hurt the dog that lived here? It's not very quick. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to power this one off and okay. we're going to use the necrophonic. Alright, do you want me? So we're going to start the necrophonic. Um, we know that there's spirits here. Can you... Why are you here? Taunt. Why are you taunting the owner of the house? Did you hurt the dog that was here? No. Do you have anything to tell tell us or do you have anything to I don't know, interact with us? Is there a reason why you're lingering down here? The owner says that she sees a male figure at this post. Who is that? Who is the male figure? Peter? Sounds like Peter. Did Peter used to live here? No? No. Do you have anything to tell us right now that you want us to know? How many spirits are here? One. This is your chance to talk to us. Do you have anything to say? Yeah. You can communicate. That was creepy. Mm. What did it say? I didn't get that one. Peter, why is Peter here? Get it. The spirit's name is, is that Peter? Peter what? Oh, it said annoying or something like that. Peter is annoying my mother. Can you tell us why you're here and why you're taunting the owner of this place? Did you die here? Yes. Yeah. Did you die of natural causes or did someone kill you? Murder? Sounded like it. Nephew? 
Your nephew killed you? Yes. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Goosebumps. I don't know if you could see that. Oh my god, look at that. <gasps> Why did your nephew kill you? Was it an accident? Yes. <laughs> it's almost like my name, didn't it, Missy? Yeah. Do you have something to tell me? What is my name? You said Missy's name. What is my name? You said my name. Do you have anything to tell me? Hi. <laughs> you have a sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have to tell me something? Get out. But I don't want to get out. I want to talk to you. Where? I'm here. I said leave. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to go now. Any parting words before we leave? Thank you for talking to us. <laughs> Ooh, that was crazy. Yeah. Uh, spirit box to find out if there's anything over here because she's been having some activity in this room. The owner of the house said that uh, when she sleeps at night, there's spinning of this over here. This thing over here. It spins at night. And she saw like a print down over here with a, where a bureau used to be. And at the time, you can't get through it, so she didn't know how that happened. All right, so I'm going to sit on the bed, and I'm going to talk to see if there's anybody here. So. All right, here's the spirit box. All right, is there anything over here? Have you? If there is a spirit in this room, can you please let me know? Do you have anything to say to me? Yeah. That was a clear yeah. What do you have to say? I'm here if you need to talk. Hello. All right. Is there only one spirit in this room? If you want to interact with me, you have to be clear. Yeah. Is this spirit a female or is this spirit a male? Beautiful. Do you have anything to tell me right now? No. Melissa. That's my name. All right, the voice I heard that said Melissa is a guy. What else do you have to tell me? Do 
you have anything else to tell me right now? Is there a reason why you're here? Can you tell me why you're taunting the owner? All right, I'm not going to be here for too much longer. So if you have anything to say, please let it, please be clear about it. John, is that your name? Yeah. Why are you here? All right, I have to go. If you have anything else to say that you really want to say it, say it now. Oof. All right, guys, I'm going to stop this now. This was an investigation at a place that one of the owners wanted us to look at their house and everything. So we decided to come over and help them out. And that's what we did. We looked all around and this was one of the most active uh, room over here. So I decided to do a spirit box. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. And if you have any questions or anything, let me know down below. Thank you. Bye. That concludes. I hope you enjoyed.